Okay, so we're going to talk about how you draw an angle in standard position. So suppose that we want to draw 300 degrees in standard position. Start with your angle, your initial side, um, on the positive x-axis, and it's um, the end point is at 0, 0. And now what you do is you rotate around to what you want to get to. So at 300 degrees, well, if I want to go to 300 degrees, first of all, I'm going to use the quadrantal angles to help me see where I'm going. So that's 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees, and that's 270. So 300 is just 30 degrees beyond there, so about there. So there is my angle of 300 degrees. Now notice that I rotated in a positive direction. I rotated counterclockwise. So if I wanted to show that angle, and you always want to show your rotation so that it's clear what how you found that angle. So in order to show that rotation, I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to go to right there and then I'm going to put arrows on it to show that there is my um, final angle of 300 degrees. Now just note that that 300 degree angle, that terminal side, could be considered not a 300 degree angle, but a negative 30 degree angle if you look at going this direction. So if I go from my initial side clockwise to my terminal side, then I have an angle of negative 30 degrees. Now, let's suppose that we want to draw an angle of 3 pi over 4 radians. We're still going to use the quadrantal angles to help us. Remember, this angle right here is pi over 2. The whole circle around is 2 pi. So 1 fourth of that, 1 fourth of 2 pi is pi over 2. This is pi. 3 pi over 4 is more than 1 half pi, because that would be 2 pi over 4 but it's less than one full pi because that would be pi and as a matter of fact it's halfway between them so if I'm going to draw 3 pi over 4 I want to go about halfway I want to go exactly halfway between the two um, axes now again remember to draw your um, angle to show that angle and the direction your angle is going so that is a positive 3 pi over 4. What if I want to go in a negative direction? Well, in that case, I'm going negative pi over 2, negative pi, plus another 1 fourth of a pi. So negative pi plus another 1 fourth of a pi makes negative 5 fourths pi. Notice that 3 pi over 4 plus 5 pi over 4 makes 8 pi over 4, or 2 pi, and those two angles together add to 360. Now, the other thing that you can think about is that this angle here actually could be coterminal, is coterminal to a lot of other angles. While this angle is 3 pi over 4, I could also think of it as a whole loop around, that's 2 pi, plus another 3 pi over 4. So that angle, if you have 2 pi plus 3 pi over 4, makes 11 pi over 4. So any angle with a terminal side could be an entire wraparound plus that angle again. So there are many, many angles with a specific terminal side. You have to get used to that. Typically, you're going to want to talk about an angle that is between 0 and 360.
uh, or 0 and 2 pi. So when you get an angle like 11 pi over 4, you're going to want to simplify that and talk about the angle that is coterminal to it, that is between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, I think that pretty much covers drawing angles in standard position, so you get to practice a few.